Hi. Uh, I sometimes notice a confusion with people who ask me for support using JPEG Repair. And I think part of the confusion is caused by the idea that JPEG Repair is a photo editor, while in reality it's much more like a hex editor. So I'll show you how to repair this specific file using a hex editor. And then we'll repair it using JPEG Repair and you will see how it is much like the hex editor tool that we use and the Windows Photo Viewer combined into one. So we're not editing the canvas of a photo like you do in Paint or Photoshop or whatever. We're editing the actual file. So here I open, this is the exact same file, open in the hex editor and in the photo viewer. Now the cool thing about the photo viewer is the image will update if you change the hex code of the file. So we can do modifications and immediately see the implications of the modification, the effect of the modification on the actual image. So we'll repair this invalid marker that's in the scan data. I, would, I used to do it like this all the time, so and, and then I built a tool to do it, but it's the exact same method. You change a byte in the binary file data and it has an effect on the image once it is decoded. So we'll do the same, we'll repair the same error using JPEG repair. We're not editing the photo. The Picture, so to speak, we are editing the binary data layer below it. So, same error, same file or a copy of the file. We'll select it in the file browser, we'll tell JPEG Repair to repair it. An advantage, of course, is that the JPEG Repair will do it automatically, and because normally you don't know the exact byte address of this error in. Uh, when, the, when you use a hex editor, so JPEG Repair scans the entire scan data and tries to detect errors, and if errors are detected, tries to repair them. So we'll see how JPEG Repair tells us it found invalid JPEG marker and did something to it and how we get the exact same result as we had when using the hex editor. So it demonstrates that JPEG Repair is like the hex editor in Windows Photo Viewer in one tool with some additional, additional features like detecting errors and doing certain stuff automatically and uh, mapping specific pixels to specific data within the file because it's compressed data so it's not like if you uh, would uh, want to change a pixel halfway of, uh, inside the picture, it's also automatically halfway inside the file because we're dealing with compressed data. But this is to understand that how JPEG Repair is not a photo editor and is made, may make it a little less confusing when using it and what to expect of it. 